What's up everybody, it's Quentin B. Smith from IQ Graphic Design. I want to shoot a video real quick about how to make money from your music because I get a lot of artists emailing us saying, hey, I'm making great songs, great music, and I'm doing everything I can, but I'm still not making money. So this video is about all you need to know about music royalties, so let's get right into it, okay? So I'm going to switch to my computer screen so I can show you guys this article that we have on our website, um, iqgraphicdesign.com. We write articles that help artists get out there, okay? So this one is all you need to know about how to get paid, all right? So to get paid, you need to know your rights, all right? And there are several. The first one is your performance right. This is how you make money on stage. If you're performing your song and you're not getting a performance right, then I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> if you're not making money while you're performing your song, you need to look into your performance rights, okay? Um, you could just be performing at uh, restaurants or clubs or bars, and this is this could just be when your music's getting played at restaurants, clubs, or bars. Whenever your music's getting played on a stage, you need to get paid, okay? Number two, print publication rights. Now, a lot of people call this publication rights, but it's called a print right as well because when your song is printed, let's just say you're John Legend and you wrote Ordinary People, and they print it into... Um, sheet music for, for other pianists to play. That's your song and you need to get paid from it. So it's used, it's used to be called print rights, but it's also called pub publication rights because your song is being physically published and sold to other artists that needs them, need them. That's, that's really freaking cool, right? So you may not need this yet, but you need to know about it in case that ever happens to you, you your song gets um, printed and published. So. The third one is digital performance rights. This right's actually well known, okay? Everyone says, you know, if I do this song, I wanna get paid from it. But it has a name, it's digital performance rights. This is, this is what you get paid when your song's on YouTube, Netflix, and TV. So you definitely wanna look into this. There are two companies that you might know about, ASCAP and BMI, they do the best job at tracking this digital performance right. Um, I believe it's free to sign up. Um, they might have different tiers, but I think there's a free, a free account. Anyway, watch this video and it's gonna break it down. You can go to the website and get your account set up. All right, so number four is the foreign rights. When you start, when your song takes off, it takes off really quick, okay? We have artists who write a record and they don't really get prepared for it going international, right? They're just like, hey, my song's hot in my state and it's hot in the region and it's probably gonna go national. But if you don't look forward and say, hey, my song's starting to go national, set up your foreign rights because eventually if your song goes overseas, you might miss out on a lot of checks, okay? So your foreign right can be set up by a US organization. This, this requires a whole separate video and you definitely wanna look into that when you're, when you're there, but it exists is what I'm saying, foreign rights. Number five, tour merchandising. This isn't as much of a right as it is a source of income. So we're talking about how to make money with your music. If you're not selling some type of product at your shows, um, dad hats, t-shirts, if you're not selling, uh, you might have vinyl records. If you're not selling something, you're missing out on a, on a big opportunity to make money with your music, okay? Number six, home taping. Home taping is really cool, okay? So you still have mom and pop CD shops. They might not be selling CDs these days, but records are coming back, okay? If they're selling your record, let's just say Urban Outfitters has your record sitting there, like a vinyl record, which is really freaking cool. You're definitely gonna wanna get a check from that, man. So it's home taping, home taping rights. Number seven, mechanical rights, all right? Your mechanical rights, this is really simple, okay? So if you write a song, if you, I don't even say write a song, say you're, John Legend, I'm um, not John, John Legend, John Lennon from the Beatles, right? I'm stuck on John Legend. <laughs> if you're John Lennon from the Beatles and someone wants to record your song, uh, remix it, uh, cover it, sample it, you should get paid from that. And that's how, that's how he would get paid. Now, I don't know if the Beatles are giving up their songs to get, to get ripped, but I tell you what, it exists. If you write a song and someone wants to sample your song, Get your mechanical rights, okay? So sales, I mean, I don't think I need to say more on this one. Sales is really 
sales is sales. Now, the reason we put this here is because sometimes people are in small deals or major deals and the record label is gonna take a certain percentage. It's usually 60-40. You can work out your own deal, but the in a 60-40 split, the record label usually takes 60 because they put you, they gave you the platform to really, really, really get heard. They put out a lot of advertisement and spent a lot of time and, and money and energy making sure that you get as hot as possible before your album drops. So as long as your album's selling, you're, or just a single, it can just be a single, it can just be online. As long as it's selling, you're gonna get sales, you're gonna get a, a certain percentage. Um, number nine, and we'll leave it on number nine, is synchronization rights, okay? So if your song's using the background um, of any video, uh, or short video, short film, say your, your music's in a short film at Sundance Film Festival or Cannes, or if it's on TV, you did the background music for Being Mary Jane or, or uh, I don't know, 24, <laughs> you know, one of those big shows, you're gonna wanna get your royalties. You wanna get your rights for that, all right? You deserve to be paid. If you make a hot song, make sure you get paid. Now, the final thing that I'll leave you on is this video on this page. If you, on this page, we're talking about ASCAP and BMI. These are the people that track all these royalties, okay? If you don't have this, you definitely wanna set that up. This is a video about how it works, and then you can go to the website and set up your account. We have other, we have other videos, other articles that go into detail about how these work, but this is a great start um, about ASCAP and BMI. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope this video helped you. A lot of, like I said, a lot of artists just don't know they just don't know their rights. Like you, that's how you get paid. You can't say, hey, did you play my song this week? You, you shouldn't be even be doing any of that. You should be in the studio recording, making the best music that you can, and let, let these other companies, ASCAP, BMI, take care of these rights for you. Get you a good, good manager who can help you keep track of this stuff. And if nothing else, just make sure you set up your accounts. Like if you know you're about to go global, set up your foreign rights, you know, you know what I'm saying? So this, hopefully this helps you. If this video helps you, and you think it can help someone else, make sure you share it. Like this video because we put a lot of time into these, these articles and these things. And um, make sure you turn on post notifications, subscribe to our YouTube, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at IQ Graphic Design. We come out with these articles every single day, every single week, and we go live to help you guys with questions and answers. So if you have any more questions, drop a comment below, and we'll make sure we get back to those. And until next time, peace.